Whoa, take a look at this huge pile of wood. You ever wonder where it might have come from? Is it neat? Is it spooky? You ever wonder what happened to the forest? Well, those are all good questions. So let's talk a bit about forest products. No matter what kind of wood materials we use, it all begins here, in the forest, with trees, and with good planning for the future. Yeah, that's right. In fact, loggers harvest trees knowing that forests will grow back. In fact, some of them have been doing it so long that they've been to the same site more than once. Oh, wow. So they know that good forest management really does work. The idea of the old lumberjack is as old as as well the lumberjacks of decades ago. That is not the way that wood is harvested today. Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox are now just for tourists. The standing trees in the forest potentially contain a lot of different roundwood products. We say roundwood because it's round or more like a cylinder. A logger makes money from buying standing trees from a forest owner. Then the logger cuts those trees into products, such as firewood, pulpwood, saw bolts, saw logs, and veneer that can be sold to area mills and manufacturers. It's not an easy job. The vast majority of today's timber harvesting involves highly skilled, high-tech operations using systems that can cost a million dollars a piece. There are three main groups of jobs cutting trees, hauling them to the landing, then delivering logs to the mills. There are many, many ways to do this with different kinds of machinery. Wood processors are complex machines that are very light on the land. Their footprint is less than that of a human being, believe it or not. Highly computerized, these machines can be set to various log lengths and record the volumes by tree species and different product classes. Their GPS systems even know where the property boundaries are located and where the particular timber sale lines exist. At the end of the day, the logger knows exactly how much wood has been cut. Most loggers have a pretty good sense of humor and know how to have fun. Here, Sir Carl and Sir Timothy decide to have a jousting competition to see who might win the favors of Princess Pine. Who do you think might win? Princess Pine? <laughs> but seriously, well, that was kind of cool, eh? But moving wood out of the forest to a central place called a landing requires different equipment. The process is called forwarding. There are many machine designs. Most of what we harvest in the lake states is called cut to length. So the processors cut the trees into desired lengths and then the forwarders gather that wood and sort it into the different products. So why do you suppose all these different piles of wood are lying around? Well, maybe we should ask a logger to identify different piles of wood and explain the different products. The, this pile of wood here is firewood that is our lowest valued product and it goes to homeowners that will burn it to uh, heat their homes. This is pulp wood that's going to go to a paper mill where they're going to make a variety of different kinds of paper. In this pile we have aspen pulp that will be taken to the mill, cut into chips and made into chipboard. This pile here is saw logs and hopefully some of these big ones are veneer. The reason there's so many piles is, is because the different products that we make have different values all the way from a few, few dollars or pennies per pound to several hundred dollars per pound. And that's important because it, uh, it's where we generate our income as loggers, but just as importantly, that's how we capture more value for the people who own the land. Now the last part of a timber harvest involves moving the wood to a mill. The trucker picks up the wood with specialized trucks and then they drive the wood out of the forest and to a mill. High quality trees worth a lot of dollars are usually still hand cut with a chainsaw. 
Felling trees this way is a risky business and requires a lot of skill and attention to safety. Being able to manufacture the right products for the right mills is important. A mistake with a high quality saw log might drop the value of that log from several hundred to less than a hundred dollars. A logger wants to produce as many higher value products as possible. Modern logging is a tough business. Many skills are needed, such as how to fix a broken machine or how to operate computers as well as heavy machinery, business skills, safety procedures, working with other people, and awareness of many, many regulations, laws, and standards. The days can be long, but for a skilled person who likes to work independently in the forest, logging, oh, is one of the best jobs on the planet. Loggers are that first link in the supply chain that brings renewable, sustainable, and useful things to our doorsteps. You gotta love wood. It's the most environmentally friendly raw material that we have at our disposal. So use more wood. It's good. Understood? Understood?